Now we are going to talk about the Nernst equation. Nernst equation. For a electrochemical full cell reaction under non-standard condition. Under non-standard condition. Remember standard condition is uh, one atmosphere, typically room temperature 25 degrees C, and uh, the concentration for the species of interest would be standard, typically mean one molar per kilogram of solvent if it's in solution chemistry. For, for electrochemical reaction under non-standard condition, the equilibrium cell potential, the equilibrium cell potential would satisfy this equation, which we call Nernst equation. Okay? And uh, E cell, as we said, would be the equilibrium cell potential for this non-standard condition. While E0 would be the standard cell potential for the electrochemical reaction. And you get the standard cell potential using the method, as we mentioned before, from standard electrode potential versus SHE. R here would be, of course, gas constant, 8.312 joule per mole per Kelvin. T would be absolute temperature in the unit of Kelvin. N would be the number of element charge or electron transferred in this redox reaction, in this uh, overall electrochemical reaction. F would be Faraday constant, 96,485 coulomb per mole. Okay? And the Q would be so-called reaction quotient. Q would be the reaction quotient. It is the ratio of, in the numerator, the product of each reaction product's activity, but raised to the power of stoichiometric efficient. To that, the ratio of the product to the product of each of the reactants' activity raised to the power of stoichiometric coefficient. And the equation simplified would be given like this. The symbol represents the product. Product of what? Product of activity for each of the reaction product raised to the power of stoichiometric coefficient, V, divided by the activity for species I raised to the power of VI. VI represents the stoichiometric coefficient for species I and then product them together. Okay, so use the example of a simple chemical reaction, electrochemical reaction. Alpha A plus beta B to form gamma C and delta D. Here, A and B are so-called reactants. C and D represent so-called products. Alpha and beta represent the so-called stoichiometric coefficients, while gamma and delta represent the stoichiometric coefficients for these two products. So for such a simple electrochemical reaction, we would get the reaction quotient, reaction quotient Q as the numerator would be for products. The for products it times together and then A for activity for speed product C but raised to the power of stoichiometric coefficient which is gamma times activity for reaction product D, but raised to the power of stoichiometric coefficient delta. So that gives us the numerator. And in for the denominator, still act activity for A reactant, but raised to the power of stoichiometric coefficient alpha times activity for B, similarly raised to the power of the stoichiometric coefficient, 
Okay, so this thing together give us the so-called reaction quotient. While this entire equation tells us the cell potential under equilibrium if the condition is not standard, not exactly at 25 degrees C, the concentration for species may not be the standard concentration. Okay, and then we are going to use the Nernst equation to calculate equilibrium cell potential under this condition.